Well, hey there. Want to lose weight and have fun doing it? Go on a music tour. You don't eat that much, you don't sleep that much, but boy, it sure is fun. FW started as a way for us just to throw, throw our own party, throw our own show. Um, centered around us as, as, as artists. Uh, no one was booking us at the time, and we said, dude, we, we know what we want out of a show, so why don't we just put it together ourselves? Uh, the first GFW we did at the Chop Shop uh, in Noda, it was actually called Noda Gets Weird. It was very low budget, we didn't know what we were doing, um, and to see where we've, you know, how far we've come since then has been quite amazing. Um, when we first started it, we were just kind of throwing together pieces of what we thought a show would look like. When the dream gets in at first, you just think of, oh, money, fun, shows. Uh, but there's so much more that goes along with it. It is a stinking ton of hard work. We up in this bitch! until we did uh, Phoenix Gets Weird. Um, we kind of just went to iDialogue, who's a, our production partner, and just picked out cool blinky lights. It wasn't until at, at, actually at the Phoenix Gets Weird that we met Sakatos, uh, and he kind of stepped in and you know, we've been partnering with him, with him ever since. Uh, my name is Matthew Scottis, and I'm the production manager for Gets Fucking Weird. The production has changed in the GFW tour since we started. It's really elevated in sort of our uh, status and as far as the, like, the expansion of our rig and our stage design. We really try to get a festival sort of environment, festival sort of vibe. You know, when we started this company, it was, you know, we, we love the festival atmosphere. The, the goal of GFW is to create a one day indoor and somewhat outdoor festival experience uh, for people that don't have maybe the time or the money to go to a big festival and see these national headliners. Um, we've trained our production squad uh, from the ground up, just friends of ours that have wanted to learn how to uh, produce these shows and put on, you know, excellent professional light shows. Fuck you! Ryan! Fuck you! Ryan! So I'm leaving. As soon at 2:15, I'm out. I'm not helping. So fuck all y'all. Day of show, what we are doing is getting the fixtures and the mounting up as quick as possible. Those are the hardest, some of the hardest things to do. Normally we get here about like 10 or 11 and the first thing is we take all of our gear, we load it into, we unload it out of the van, we load it all out, get everything addressed, everything sort of organized so that way everybody has an agenda, everybody has their tasks that they want to do. The workflow is everybody works towards the same goal but no one's in each other's way. Gosh, we made tons of things. Uh, uh, most of all of our stages, if it's not generic pipe, uh, trussing, regular lighting, anything else you see on our stage, we probably built. I mean, we built a lot of stuff. Our DJ table that we just made is a uh, four foot by four foot huge wooden, you know, table that we just made that you can stand on, you know, put a ton of gear on it. So we built some uh, custom DJ tables and uh, they're going to bolt together. And the big thing is that it's supposed to get, have an earthquake test. To, Fit my fat ass and Kyle's fat ass up here so we can fucking, you know, dip our nuts on. People just. Yeah, dude, they just walk to the side and then it's just like. <laughs> it's all about the show and it's all about just having a good time with what we do because none of us, none of us live off this. This isn't like our primary source of income. This is, we all have other jobs. So this is why, I think that's why the show is so pure still, you know, because this is something that we just a lot of our emotion goes into and that we don't have to rely on a paycheck for. And there's no, no intensive, you know, get rich quick plot to our, you know, our rise to fame. It's not, it's, it's all about creating the best show possible for the viewers.